I'm now going to continue my video series on memory with some candy corn history. All right, and you're going to find hyperlinks to several stories down here in the description below. And I have extracted details from those particular stories, and this is how I'm going to have you remember them. Okay? The object here is not just to read them, but to be able to remember them when you go to a party, especially around Christmas time, and you can say, okay, we're going to discuss this. It makes for very interesting conversation. Okay. First, we have to remember the name George Renninger. Okay, let's imagine George Washington holding a bottle of ginger. Okay? And you can imagine him holding two bottles, one uh, rum and the other one ginger. There you go. Now, there is a ribbon on the ginger bottle because it's the best tasting ginger. Okay? Now we have to remember the the Wonderly Candy Company. We have to remember that particular name. Now, in one hand, George Washington is holding a bottle of rum and he's also holding a bottle of ginger. In the other hand, he's holding a cup of tea. He is wondering what flavor of tea is in his cup. He looks, he looks in the cup and sees candy corn floating on the tea. Now, the next person we have to remember is Gustav Goletz. Now, this guy created a candy company in Belleville, Illinois a few years before the Wonderly Candy Company started selling candy corn. Okay? Now, how are we going to remember that? Well, let's see. Uh... Let's imagine a gust of wind activating a stoplight and it turns green for go. Okay? And the reason why you know that the light is green because it lights up. Okay? So a gust of wind lights up the green go light on a street light. Okay? And next to that street light is um this bell, okay? Just, just imagine there's a ringing bell next to a street light and a gust of wind activates the street light and turns the light green. There you go. Okay. Now apparently the Wonderling Candy Company couldn't mass produce the candy corn. So they allowed the Golette's ca Candy Company to mass produce it. Now, how are we going to remember Wonderly? Well, um, let's have a guy named Lee wondering about candy corn. And I'm sure you can come up with more clever ways. And if you can come up with a more clever way to remember this, go ahead and leave it down here in the comments below. I'd love to see your answers. Okay? Okay? Alright. Now, the next thing we have to remember is that the Golette's Candy Company later became the Jelly Belly Candy Company. Okay? So, let's imagine this gust of wind, and it has a great big belly. Okay? And, it's, and this belly is full of jelly. There you go. So, the next thing we have to remember is Emil J. Brock. Okay? Now... Let's imagine that we have a tree branch receiving emails. Okay? And if you can imagine anything about the Brock Candy Company, you connect that to that image. Okay? So we're seeing a, a tree branch receiving emails and it's full of candy products. And that's how we're going to remember Emil J. Brock. Okay? You can even say for his middle initial, we have a tree branch, it's receiving emails, and it's also jaywalking. There you go. Okay. Now, the guy was German, so let's imagine that one of the uh, things stuck to this particular branch 
is German chocolate cake. There you go. Now, imagine that this branch is located in Chicago, the Windy City. Well, there could be a more appropriate place for a tree branch than in Chicago. Okay. Now, he created the candy confection in the back of his store. Okay. So when did the Brock's Candy Company begin producing candy corn? Well, after I read several web articles, I determined that Brock's first advertised its candy corn in the 1950s. Well, that's a far cry from when it was invented, I can tell you that. Now, if anybody has any further information on this, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Okay? All right. And... That's it. All right. If you find extra details in any of these web articles that I have presented below and you want to help people remember those extra details, by all means, leave your suggestions down here in the comments below. I'd love to see them. In the meantime, I thank you very much for watching this presentation. I would like I will tell you more in a future video, so I would like for you to stay tuned.